Morning, YouTube. Friends and family. Oh, hump day, Wednesday. On my way to Hollowell to finish this insulation job today. I will finish today. I'll be one day ahead of schedule, which is great. Um, it means, you know, more, more profit in less time. Thanks for coming with me on my day. And I'll see you in the truck. <laughs> ducks are so funny. If you have a chance to make the choice between chickens and ducks, always go ducks. Whenever they hear me getting near the barn in the morning, they just go crazy quacking and it's inside. Like, don't forget, we're here. Let us out. <laughs> All right, I have landed on site here. There was a question from, I think it was Steve Meehan this morning about, oh, you know, I should take you over where the holes actually are. Okay, Steve was wondering about these holes left in the insole web fabric here and whether that represented a breach in the vapor barrier. This fabric is not even close to a vapor barrier. It is a very loose weave of plastic fibers and is designed to allow air to get through it. So. Though these look like big, you know, cuts in the air barrier or the, the vapor barrier, they're really nothing. I'll ask Troy if he wants me to tape them up. Sometimes we'll tape them up, but drywall is going to go right on over that. So not such a big deal. Good question, though. In Maine, we don't need a vapor barrier on the interior of the walls or the exterior of the walls. Once you get up into the very northern part of Maine, which is adjacent to Canada, then that changes and there is, uh, it's recommended that you put a vapor barrier, but for, uh, for most of Maine and going south, a vapor barrier is not required and not recommended. All right, this is my buddy Troy. His daughter Iris got this deer last night and she is so psyched. How old is Iris? 12. Awesome, man. Iris deer. is a deer slayer. Hey, it's a beautiful day in Maine today. We are in the 60s today. Um, there's people all around the city mowing their leaves and I'm in a t-shirt. Yes, I'm in a pink t-shirt. I really don't, I, I'm, you know, some guys are very concerned about their appearance and they wanna appear manly all the time, right? I could care less. All the manliness I need to show people is I've got three kids. How much more of a man can you be? Three boys at that. Okay, I gotta get back to work. Um, I'm gonna wrap this job up today. Hey, what's that? I just did a bunch of... Uh... I just did a bunch of GoPro uh, videography and realized I had no SD card in there. So luckily, uh, one of the cool things that Casey sent me was a uh, another action camera and it had an SD card in it. And I had it in the truck this morning. So uh, I just switched it over and now I can show you what's going on.
All right, I'm done. I'm cleaning up, hooking up the trailer, and getting out of here. You know, yesterday's vlog I talked about how honorable it is to labor for a living, and I thoroughly believe that. However, I'm glad to have consulting too, because man, this would wipe me out if I did it, you know, 40 hours a week, 52 weeks a year. Tomorrow, I have an office day, and I'm glad for that. I'm starving. Hey, thanks for coming with me to work today.